Teachers often think of their students as their kids. They create a special bond with them in their classroom. For one South Dakota teacher, time in the classroom is also a chance to spend a little extra time with her siblings. In fact, the first grade classroom at Bison School has quite the family connection. Jody Kersman has the story. Think of all the things that you can think about that are red. This is Gracie Collins. Color in all your red things. Dream job. You can think of that are red. Teaching first grade. Use your imagination. In her hometown. I just knew it was my passion and my calling. Raise your hand if you remember what we talked about. JC. The oldest of six children. Yeah. I Gracie has been practicing for this job her entire life. I remember with my younger siblings, you know, playing school in the basement. She isn't pretending anymore. Yes. This is her real classroom. Good job. And these are her real students. I know most of these kids very well. But there's one kid. B she knows a little better than the rest. Vet. That's her little sister, Chrissy. A tree. There's a 16 year age difference right, between Gracie time, and Chrissy. I missed out on a few years of her life being at college, so now being able to be back and being a big part of it is pretty cool. It's a amazing teacher. The family connection in this classroom doesn't end there. This is Riley, Gracie's younger brother. He's a junior and a cross age student in first grade. They get a credit for coming in and helping with the students and helping the teacher prepare. For Riley, it's a chance to be a role model and to spend a little extra time with his sisters. Seeing the kids and stuff and working with them. Outdoor. Chrissy Say says her morning. siblings have made this school year awesome job. extra fun. I love it. And while she's soaking up all the things first graders learn, Chrissy okay, is also creating some special memories with her siblings. Okay, like memories cool. that will make this really school nice. year yeah, one she'll never forget. Okay. One, two, three. In Bison, yeah. South Dakota. There you go. I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. Um, but, it, but wait, there's more. Gracie's mother-in-law also helps out in her classroom as an aide. While family connections like this are pretty common in small schools, once in a while they happen in larger schools too. Tomorrow we'll meet a mother-daughter teaching team at Bismarck's Century High.